here's the video version of my guide on how to get PC Linux OS gaming working. I'll teach you how to set up Steam, how to get Mango Hood hooked into all of your games, and how to cap slash limit FPS. There is a blog post version of this, you should probably have it open, because there's so many commands and so much text, and a bit of copy pasting doesn't hurt because there is a lot to write in this guide. So open the blog post, it's linked in the description, and you'll see this big list of dependencies that you have to install using apt. So if you first type su and then your password, then simply enter all of the apt commands to install all of these required dependencies for Steam. sudo wget dpackage alien easy rpm builder ia32 libs wine32.32 bit bubble wrap lib64k <sighs> sorry i almost fell asleep there um yeah, just go to the blog post and install all of these dependencies that you need. After you've done that, get back to me. Okay, now we're going to use this wget command to download the latest Steam Client installer to your computer. And this alien command here to convert it to work on PC Linux OS. Because devs normally don't work, but we're going to make it work. This will turn it into an RPM, which we then install using the following RPM command from the blog post. Okay, you're not done yet. Wait, wait. This nano command is very essential. You are commenting out two lines here in the file. Because if you don't do that, your package manager will be broken. You'll never be able to install or update software. Open a new terminal. Okay, now you've done that, you can run the next command, the Steam command, and actually start running Steam. By the way, always launch it with that command. No shortcuts, no nothing else, or it breaks. Okay, cool. If all you wanted at this point was the Steam client, you've got it. But in my case, I need Mango HUD and its frame rate limiting capping capabilities, or else my graphics card's probably going to explode. That's a hardware issue. But anyway, if you just wanted Steam, you've completed the guide, congratulations. But continuing on, I will teach you how to install Mango HUD and how to use it to cap slash limit your frame rate. Okay, so you'll need to go to the Releases tab for Mango HUD. You can find it on GitHub, or it's obviously linked in the blog post. So go to the latest file, which is at the top here, and search for the tar.gz archive. There we go. Download that, and open its folder. Extract the archive with your archive manager, and go into the folder. Now, the empty white background here, just right-click it and go to Open Terminal here. You'll now be inside of the folder in your terminal. Now, this next command, you have to be a sudoer for. And if you don't know what that means, you need to be in the sudoers file. Search for sudoers file in Google and figure out how to add yourself to it. It's a bit out of the remit of this guide, but you'll figure it out. It's quite easy. Once you're in the sudoers file, simply run that command and enter your password, and then Mango Hud will be installed. Simple as that. So now, this string here, these launch options. You might have seen launch options before, if you've played a game in the past. Simply go to the game you want to have Mango Hud, and thus the cap that Mango Hud can enforce. Right-click on it, and go to Properties. Now, this little text box at the bottom of here... This is the launch options where you put these arguments, basically. If you paste that string into the box, you'll see here the FPS limit by default from that string is 60. Simply change those numbers to a different number if you want to change the FPS cap that we're enforcing on this game. Though in this case Super Meat Boy is designed to run at 60, you shouldn't cap it, and it's actually capped at 60 by default, but that's not the point. If Mango Hood can hook into it, you can cap to whatever arbitrary frame rate you want, which is useful in games that will have unlimited frame rates. Or at least, for me. I've tested Mango HUD on literally every graphics API that I can. I've had it work successfully on OpenGL, Vulkan, DirectX 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So it should basically work with every game you throw at it, which is part of the reason I'm making this guide. It's very useful to not accidentally overstress my graphics card right now. But there's other reasons you might want to cap the frame rate of a game. 
whether the game is programmed improperly and speeds up when the frame rate gets too high, or whether or not you're just wasting tons of battery life, or yes, generating tons of heat on your device, which sometimes isn't necessary whatsoever. Anyway, Super Meat Boy's finished. Let's give it a launch and you can see that Mango Hood's hooked into it. Oh, I... no, I play this game with a keyboard and mouse, but okay. Now, Mango Hood will be hidden by default. There's a keyboard shortcut to activate it. It's right shift and F12 at the same time. And if you're on a weird computer like a laptop, you might have to use function as well. But here you go, Mango Hood. You've done it, you're gaming. PC Linux OS, Steam, FPS Cap, enjoy.